What's up, Doge Disco Dance Army? Today is Wednesday, August 4th. In this video, I'm going to go over the latest wave of Doja Gotchis that just went out, over the party, and then explain polygon minting and how to set up your MetaMask wallet. So first, blue Doja Gotchis have been sent out to everybody who has completed POP within up to about 12 hours ago. So anybody who's done it since then, stay tuned. We're gonna be working on increasing the speed at which Doja Gotchis get sent out based on your pop video. So make it a little bit more instant. All right, we had the party on Saturday. It was super awesome. Sent out a bunch of Doge, had a bunch of Dogely characters show up from all around the world to dance for uh, two hours with us. It was fantastic. Thank you to everybody. Stay tuned for the next party. We're going to be shifting schedules a little bit. Now, one of the things that people have been talking a lot about is Matic and Polygon minting. So we've enabled minting within the app. So, you know, what does that mean? Let me show you my screen here. So here's a blue Dojigachi, for example. And on the bottom left, there's this little uh, kind of chain thing. And if you click that chain thing, um, it will say select which wallet you want to mint from. And you'll have two, you'll have one wallet by default. This one on top will be your default wallet. So every every user, every every Doge Disco account gets a Ethereum address by default. Now, if you're gonna be going down this route, I highly suggest you add your own wallet. So in order to add your own wallet, let's just go through and let me show you how this is done. So you click on the top right, you're going to want to do this from your desktop too. It it's won't work from your phone. You're going to need to do this with the desktop and you're going to have to have MetaMask. And MetaMask is this little fox up here. So you click on your Doge Disco and then you go down to Ethereum addresses. Then you say add Ethereum address and you say connect with MetaMask. And it'll open up MetaMask and then you'll click sign on the bottom. Now I've already attached this wallet so it won't work, but you click sign and then it'll say success and then it will show that you have two addresses on there. And then when you go back to your minting, there won't be this little icon when it's not minted. Once you click mint, you click, click that second address, which is your own address, and then it will then mint it to your own wallet that you have the private key to. And then you can go over to, after you've done that, then you can go to OpenSea and you can log in. And similarly, let me, sh let me see here, uh, if I log out, this is how this works. So I'm, I'm, I'm logged out. Now I'm not logged in. So if I click on wallet and I say connect with MetaMask. Okay. And it shows there's the funds that I have in the wallet. And okay, here we go. And then it shows you here is your wallet. And you will see that in your collections, you will have, give it a second to load. Oh, wait, that's, Let's do my collections. I don't know why it's not loading. <sighs> Maybe it's on my profile. Okay, if you just click on my profile on your account, you should see your Doja Gotchis and any other NFTs that you might have there. Or the one that you minted will show up there. Then if you want to sell your Doge, then like you can click on, you can click on it. And in order to sell it, now I've already set up the selling, so it's all, it's all done. But what you're actually gonna have to do is it's kind of complicated. You have to make sure that within your MetaMask, you have, let me add, you have Polygon set up. So, and to add Polygon, you're gonna have to go to custom RPC and you're gonna have to find out this information, the network name, all and all this is available with a quick how do I add Polygon to MetaMask. You'll get all the information to add it here. And then once you get it added there, it'll be like, okay, confirmed, great, you're on. So I'm gonna say Polygon. Well, here is the information about it, if you wanna just look. Um, and then you will see that. And then, you know, when you get onto here, you say, I wanna set a price, we'll say 0 0.1111 Ether for this Genesis Doge, complete listing, sign the message. It's gonna pop up MetaMask. We say, okay, sign that message. And then processing order, boom, woohoo, your NFT is listed, great. And so then I have this link and then I can click 
paste this link in there and okay, we're, we'll see now the current price 0.111. And now if someone purchases this, it will get transferred to their account. And then if they associate their MetaMask address in Doge Disco with their wallet and they have that asset on there, it will then show up in their wallet. So you can actually do in-game transfers using the blockchain without that. Now, okay, I'm going to stop screen recording for a second. Now, if you have not uh, associated an address and you mint, you're going to mint from your default address. And your default address is not going to have any um, any any Matic tokens in it. You need Matic tokens in order to uh, to transfer in there, and you're not going to be able to associate. You're not going to be able to like you know curate your OpenSea account that way. But if you do have Matic tokens in there, and you then mint it, and you want to send it to somebody else, you're then going to be able to send it to somebody else. But be cautioned if you mint your token using your default address, and then you want to send your token from one. Doge Disco account to another Doge Disco account, it's not going to work because you don't have Matic tokens. This is the thing about blockchain is you need to have tokens, you need to have like gas fees to pay for the transaction fees. The great thing about Matic is the transaction fees are very, very, very small, but you're still going to need to have some Matic. So it's a little bit complicated. If you just want to play the game, don't worry about the minting right now. We're going to be working to make it better. If you want to get fully set up, Attach a MetaMask, make sure you have a little bit of Matic in, in, your, in your address, and you got to add the Polygon network to your MetaMask. So I know that might sound a little bit complicated. If others want to create more in-depth videos of how this works, go for it. We're going to aim to continue to roll out content and, show, and create guides of how you know this works. But that is effectively how you add your MetaMask address when you mint, how it goes on to OpenSea, and then how you can list it and somebody else can purchase it, and then it gets transferred. And, and then how inter-game transfers are going to be working. Now, what we've shown with this is that We've created a bridge between the game and the decentralized Matic network and the world of blockchain. And it opens up a lot of possibilities. Now, with just two Dojigachis and this playability, uh, there, there isn't all that much that can be done. These are limited edition. There's only so many. These could be collector items. You might want to might want to hold on to yours. You might want to sell it. I don't know if, if someone's willing to purchase. There's not a whole lot of. I don't think there's a, a too much buy side pressure. People seeking these at this moment, but that's not to say that won't change in the future. And additionally, we have you know plans to make many, many, many more assets uh, and and dojigachis and characters. Um, and, and accessories to play in the game to add more utility and value. We're right now we're just kind of like working on figuring this all out, creating a good experience as a game, enabling you to go out there, see your communities, collect Dogecoins, have fun. Um, you know, and soon as well, we're going to be issuing. So if I click on uh, let me show you here. We're going to be enabling the redeem feature very soon. So right now it says hold your doges. Uh, we're not ready yet, but this should be going live ideally this week. But just bear with us. These these blockchain integrations take some time, um, but we have absolutely every intention to enable, enable the Dogecoin withdrawal. Um, so have no fear there. And it will enable you to, punt, to paste in your your doge address and then withdraw it and will likely deduct like the transaction fee from the amount sending um and that's how that'll work so uh yeah just stay tuned that's coming and uh you know to everybody who's been playing the game and enjoying getting out there to those who have just gotten their doge gotchis welcome go out there deploy your coin blasters go collect some doge coins um have fun please um Take screen recordings. If you have an iPhone, it's really easy to do a screen recording. You can also do it with sound on too, and you know you can talk to it and you can create like cap show us show us uh, some footage of you as playing the game if you want. It'd be great. Uh, please share and we'll share too. And to everybody who's done all the pop videos, you guys rock. I hope you're enjoying everything. Uh, please keep the feedback coming. Um, and thank you for, you know, your patience and your dedication and your willingness to do only good every day. And may the doge be with you. That's it for, that's it for today. Uh, you'll hear from you soon. Okay. Bye for now.